Welcome to this video. We'll discuss in this video about LM curve. This video is in the continuation of the previous video. This is part 2 of ISLM curve. So before watching this video, you should refer to the previous video of ISLM curve part 1. So we are coming on to the topic we'll discuss about in this video about LM curve. Here LM curve means liquidity and money. We'll discuss in this video about how money market equilibrium occurs in this ISLM model. So first of all, we'll discuss about the Keynesian theory of money market equilibrium. So Hicks and Hansen uh, derived the idea from Keynesian uh, money market equilibrium. In the, uh, in the money market theory, Keynes said that the demand for money depends on two important things. First one is transaction demand for money and second one is that is speculative demand for money. Here speculation means investing in the bond market or the shares market, equity market. So here first of all we need to understand that as your income increases, the demand for money also increases. It means this is in a direct proportion. So first of all this is very important to understand the relationship between the level of income and the demand for money. That is uh, determine the rate of interest in the economy. So first of all we will write the function that is money demand is the function of income and rate of interest. So now here the key is what is this rate of interest. Rate of interest plays an important part. Like for example you want to, uh, you want to hold more, uh, more money uh, with you for the transaction purpose because as your income increases the demand for money also increases in order to spend or uh, in order to buy goods and services. But for example, here the interest rate is high in the banks. So you will curtail some demand for money in order to earn the rate of interest. It means the rate of interest is the, is the amount, of, uh, amount of money you will earn by sacrificing the current consumption. It means uh, you suppose you make one fixed deposit in the bank for one year. It means you are foregoing current consumption or you are uh, sacrificing current consumption in order to get that interest rate one year later. Now another case you understand like for example if I will not uh, invest in FD and I will uh, consume today so it means I am foregoing the rate of interest and also uh, fulfilling the current consumption demand. So this is the two important uh, mainly discussion about this uh, LM curve and the consumption. So here money demand depends on two things. Now we'll draw the diagram. In this diagram, we'll derive the LM curve. So here you can say money demand. That is money supply. Here we can write a rate of interest. The money supply curve is vertical because it is fixed by central authority. So in every country there is a central bank that uh, fixes this money supply in the economy. That is why it is vertical. It cannot change easily. Now this is money demand curve. This is another money demand 1. And this is money demand 2. Here this is the simple situation. We need to understand why these are family of demand curves, money demand curve. Here we can say that if we join this line with the rate of interest, and this is R2. So as your income increases, as I said previously, as your income increases, it means your demand for money also increases. In the Keynesian economics, it is also known as liquidity preference. So when your demand for money increases, your money demand curve will shift rightwards or outward. Here we can simply say, whenever your money demand goes up with the fixed money supply, in order to restore the equilibrium in the money market, we need to increase the rate of interest. So this is a simple thing when we uh, do this money demand and money supply curve. 
in order to increase the money demand rate of interest will offset the disequilibrium temporary disequilibrium created in the economy here on the uh, x axis we are taking uh, income and on the y axis the same rate of interest now we are deriving the lm curve from this money supply and money demand that is money market equilibrium here we can write a money supply so this is the simple thing we need to derive now so for a rate of interest that is r0 we need to extend this line and goes towards this this point this is y0 now we'll explain why I'm stopping here. I will explain. Another thing, R1, if we extend this line to this point, that is Y1, and the third one, the last one, we have to extend this line to the new level, that is Y2. Well, in simple sense, we need to understand why these, how these points are determined from this. It means whenever your money demand increases, the simple thing, money demand is increasing. It means your rate of interest will also increase. But what is the effect? What is the uh, mean? Why this thing is happening? Because of increase in the level of income. That is why I am stopping here. It means when I join these three lines, The LM curve is derived from this money market equilibrium. It means whenever your income is increasing, that same from Y0, Y1 to Y2, your money demand will also increase and this will create a temporary disequilibrium in the money market. So that is why the central authority will also increase the rate of interest. This is a simple concept of LM curve. Here is the main point. This is just showing the relationship between these two. There is nothing new. As your income increases, your money demand also increases because of in order to spend on goods and services and that is why the same thing rate of interest. Now we will consider the slope of LM curve. What are the things that determine slope of LM curve? Slope of LM now first one that is elasticity elasticity is the responsiveness to the demand for money the simple thing elasticity or we can write in simple words the responsiveness to the money demand to the changes in the level of income. Here Y represents level of income. It means elasticity of money demand. We can write money demand also. Elasticity of money demand to the changes in the level of income. The second one. Elasticity of money demand to the changes in the rate of interest here small i represent rate of interest so we need to uh, understand these two important aspects why the slope of lm curve is upward sloping now for the first one elasticity that is money demand or responsiveness or demand for money to the changes in the level of income it means whenever your income is increasing the simple thing your money demand will also increase but how much it depends on the elasticity so elasticity will determine how much responsiveness is with the interest rate to the demand for money. Another thing, the second one, elasticity, that is demand for money, elasticity, to the changes in the rate of interest. It means, for example, if the rate of interest is high in the bank, you will sacrifice the current consumption and you will minimize the current consumption to the uh, minimum possible extent in order to earn more interest rate. Suppose, for example, if the saving deposit rate is around 
Now you will sacrifice consumption and deposit more money in the saving account. But now if the interest rate is around uh, 1% or maybe 0.5%, you will uh, see that, think about that, uh, I should uh, spend uh, currently and right now I should spend in the economy. In order to uh, remain the main amount with the banks, I should spend current on a current consumption to forego some interest rate because 0.5 or 1% it doesn't matter. That's the same thing. That is elasticity demand for money to the changes in the rate of interest. These are two important things. The so changes in the rate of interest and changes in the level of income. These two things will determine the slope of LM curve. And that too is upward sloping. Now coming on to the different thing. The shifting of LM curve. How the LM curve shifts in the economy. That is the same diagram. Money demand and money supply. Simple thing. Now for example, how LM curve shifts in the economy. Like for example, this is the equilibrium, money market equilibrium. Now for example, if the money supply increases by the central bank, it means when your economy is growing, economy need more cash in hand. That is why suppose money supply increases by the monetary authority, that is central bank of any country. So for example, in order to maintain this equilibrium, the interest rate will go down. So here we can write R0 to R1. This is the new equilibrium point from R0 to R1. It means whenever the money supply shifts, that is to rightwards or to the leftward, LM curve will also shift in response to this shifting in the supply of money. Now we are concerning about the equilibrium. So we will see the equilibrium of ISLM curve. So IS curve is a downward sloping, LM curve is upward sloping. This is your equilibrium. Here we are taking national income. This is your E. This is your rate of interest. Here we are write a rate of interest. This is the equilibrium of ISLM model. So this is goods market and money market equilibrium. This depends on the basis of four things. That is consumption demand, investment demand, demand for money and the quantity of money. These four things are very vital in order to determine this equilibrium. Another thing ISLM curve also determined two important things. That is real variables and monetary variables. Real variables are like saving and investment in the economy. Monetary variables are like the quantity and the demand for money or, or we can say in the Keynesian economics that is liquidity preference. So that's it for this ISLM model. Hope you like this video. If you have any feedback, a recommendation or if you want to comment anything you can mention in the comment box. You can also visit our blog that is given in the description of this video. If you have any other suggestion, you can also uh, mention in the comment box that this topic should be covered in the series of these videos of macroeconomics. Again, once again, uh, give a big thumbs up to this video. And also comment on this video about the feedback of our channel that keeps me motivated in making more videos. Uh, finally, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.